Hello. In this video, I will demonstrate how to enable debug level logging for OpenShift Sandbox containers. At runtime, multiple kata and virtualization components are running under the hood, such as kata runtime, kata agent, QMU, and virtualfsd. By default, most of these are printing limited amount of log types, mostly error and warning logs, and here we will learn how to enhance logging and print also debug level logs. Here we have standard 6 node OpenShift cluster with pre installed OpenShift sandbox containers that was installed using the operator on the worker nodes. Hence, we can see we already have the kata runtime class, which is used by the OpenShift sandbox container. Currently, in order to set OpenShift Sandbox container components to print their logs at debug level, we should set also Cryo's log level to debug. In order to do that, we will use the following container runtime config custom resource, which allows you to customize container runtime configuration, and in, the, in this case, we will change the configuration of the runtime log level to debug. On each of the worker nodes using machine config pool selector. Let's apply the custom resource. In this case, Cryo is the runtime, and changing its configuration restarts the Cryo daemon. Hence, it may take a couple of minutes. We will watch the worker nodes machine config pool and skip that in the video. All nodes updated. Now all worker nodes cryo instances as debug log level set. From now on, each deployed sandbox workload allows the kata components running it to print their logs at debug level. Note that the new configuration will be applied only on newly created sandbox workloads. Let's apply some sandbox workload. Here we have the following configuration which describes a simple Fedora pod with a runtime class of kata, which does nothing but sleep. Let's apply. We can see the pod is already running within a sandbox environment using kata. Most of the logs printed by the kata components are printed to the journal log under the kata identifier. One way to get those is using the OCIDM node logs command of OC client. The workload is running on the following node and let's grab for the kata identifier. As you can see, it is not very convenient way to get the logs. Another option would be to get into the node running the workload and try to fetch the logs there. Let's log in into the node running the workload. the journal CTR command with the cat identifier to get the logs. You can see we have here debug logs, info logs and other logs. When logs should be collected for support purposes, we would encourage you to simply use and run the mask gather tool, which will collect the emitted mentioned logs in addition to many other OpenShift Sandbox container logs. 
the operator logs and other logs, files and useful information. In order to do that, please refer to the OpenShift Sandbox container documentation. However, the command looks as follows. Now, the MapGather tool is running and collects logs into single directory, which can be collected and sent to the support team. Thank you for watching.